Okay, today we're gonna go through the Vivo 40 setup for an invasive patient. Typically the Vivo 40 is something that we would use non-invasively. It has a ST mode with a targeted tidal volume, but in some situations uh, it can be used invasively uh, as long as the patient is spontaneously breathing. So we're gonna go through how to set up a patient that is has a trach, for example, or maybe they're intubated, but they are spontaneously breathing. So with the Vivo 40, first of all, I'm going to turn the power on here. You'll notice the screen comes on showing the time, but we need to press this button here so we can get into our screen and start going through our settings. So we're gonna start off with a mode. So you'll see that you have three modes with the Vivo 40, pressure control ventilation, pressure support ventilation, and CPAP. So I'm gonna leave it on pressure support ventilation because that's what I wanna to use today, essentially ST with a targeted tidal volume. So if I use these arrows, if I, can hit, if I use these arrows, I can get down to my target volume and you'll see it's highlighted active. I wanna leave it there. I wanna go down to device mode. You have clinical or home. We're gonna leave it on clinical. I'm then gonna to go to setup so that I can set my specific parameters. So we're gonna set our IPAP min at 12. So anytime you're using ST with a targeted tidal volume, you need to realize that you're starting out in BiPAP mode. So your IPAP min needs to be high enough that when you turn the vent on, you'll start out uh, in a mode that is comfortable for the patient. So that's why we're gonna use 12. I would never suggest going below 10, in fact. So we're gonna keep that IPAP min at 12. We're gonna leave our EPAP at five. We're also gonna leave our rate at 12. And you can set rise time, you can set your inspiration trigger and expiration trigger. I'm gonna leave those on the default values for now. You can also set a minimum inspiratory time and maximum inspiratory time. This is set on one and a half to three. Now, it, if you have a patient that has end stage COPD, for example, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your eye times are lower, right? Because you want these patients tend to have a very uh, high, you know, eye to E ratio when it comes to, you know, one to four, one to five sometimes. So they have a long exhalation. So you need to make sure your eye time is small for those patients that do have long exhalations, like those end stage COPD patients. But I'm gonna leave this on one and a half to three. Our target volume is set at 500. You'll notice that this is in liters, so it's not in milliliters. So 0 0.50 is gonna be 500 milliliters. I'm gonna leave it there. And my IPAP max is set at 25. Remember my IPAP min is 12. I'm gonna leave that there as well. Alarms, you can go through your alarms and set those as well. Again, I'm gonna leave the defaults as they are. You can also set other things like your ramp, your device settings and device information, but I'm gonna leave everything as it is for the moment. And you'll see up top, we have what is our patient values. So uh, that tidal volume, as you can see, is slowly climbing and that should eventually get to 500. So now, I want to go through the circuit setup that we have. You'll see that we have a bacteria filter, right? We have a circuit with an exhalation valve built in. We have our HME. And we have our trach adapter. Hook to our test lung. So 
So our IPAP pressure is going to continue to rise until we get to our um, 500 tidal volume and I disconnected everything so you see it went back down but uh, this will eventually get there. In the meantime, I wanted to show you, obviously, you know, lots of these patients will have, will uh, need oxygen. And so for this setup, I'm gonna tie the oxygen in as close to the patient as possible. And there's different ways to do this. You know, you can obviously come and do it from the vent, closer to the vent. In this case, I want to do it closer to the patient. Turn our concentrator on. Now, obviously, if you were in the hospital, you could use the flow meter to do the same thing. But here in our office, we're going to use this concentrator. That's your invasive setup for a patient using the Vivo 40.